African-American woman's DNA that cures sickness. In 1951, a young African-American woman named Henrietta Lacks walked into Johns Hopkins Hospital with a pain she could no longer ignore. She had no idea that inside her body lived something the world had never seen before, cells powerful enough to help cure sickness, stop deadly diseases, and change medicine forever. Henrietta was just 31 years old, a mother of five, when doctors found a tumor on her cervix. During her treatment, they took two small tissue samples without her permission, which was common at the time. But when scientists placed her cancer cells in a dish, something unbelievable happened. Her cells refused to die. They multiplied endlessly, stronger and faster than any cells ever observed. They named them HeLa cells after Henrietta Lacks, the first immortal human cells in history. Henrietta passed away on October 4, 1951, not knowing that part of her would live on, saving lives across the world. Soon after, Halla cells became one of the greatest tools in science. In the 1950s, they were used to create the polio vaccine, protecting millions of children. For decades, they helped reveal how cancer grows, how viruses attack the body, and how new medicines can stop them. Her cells were used to study HIV, develop treatments for cancer, make breakthroughs in IVF, and even helped scientists understand the impact of space on the human body when they were sent into orbit. Recently, HeLa cells were important in the research that led to COVID-19 vaccines. Today, they have contributed to over 70,000 scientific studies, more than any other cells on Earth. Henrietta Lacks never knew her cells would reshape the future, but her legacy lives in every vaccine, every lab, every medical breakthrough touched by HeLa cells. She is the African-American woman whose DNA continues to cure sickness and save lives around the world.